What's up guys, my name is Matt. Today we're going to be looking at Lackenzie Denim and telling you if it's worth it or not. Let's get into the review. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Matt. I make a ton of fashion content just like this every single week on my channel, whether it be from Trend Tuesday to where I break down the latest and greatest trends or on any other day of the week where I just upload whatever content I want to make. You'll find it all here um, at least usually twice a week. But today we're going to be looking at Lackenzie Denim and kind of telling you if it's worth it or not. I don't see too many people talking about it, but I do feel like it's a really good alternative to some of the other brands of denim on the market. But let's get into the review. So Lackenzie actually did reach out to me and provided all these denims in return for a review. All of this is unbiased. I'm not being paid anything from them to say any of this. I do have a discount code, which will be in the description below or up on the screen with just Matt 20. But all these opinions are my own and I haven't been paid anything from them to say it. And I was actually able to pick out three of the denim that I wanted and I thought would actually be really beneficial to you guys since I actually love a lot of denim. I love my Represent Ones, my John Elliott's. I have such a wide array of experience in denim so I just thought I'd give you guys my opinions on them. And so I'll show off the three that I have today and I'll show them what it looks like on body and kind of outfits I kind of threw together with them. And I'll start this video by showing off just a plain black denim. Now the denim itself for all three pairs just have a white Lackenzie patch on them which I thought was a little bit different than some of the other pairs I got. I would say this looks a little bit nicer than the ones I get from some companies like Minimal. All the ones I did pick up were in a size large or size 34. I went true to size with all of the denim that you're going to see here and I would probably suggest you do the same. Now the quick note with all of them is they all are skinny denim so if you don't like skinny denim then I don't know what to tell you on this. All their denim for the most part that I saw were skinny fits. It fits me really well and that's what I like about it is they are skinny. <laughs> now getting into the actual denim themselves and the quality of them, where are they made, how much spandex is in them. Well for this black pair in particular, they are I think 98.5% cotton, 1.5% spandex. They are stretchy, you don't have to worry about that. They are made in Turkey, which I thought was actually really nice. So not made in China. And in my opinion, I like that way more. Some of my favorite denim actually comes from Turkey. Some of my favorite fitting denim comes from Turkey. You got brands like All Saints, you got brands like Represent that used to make their denim in Turkey and now they make them in Italy, which I don't tend to like as much. But having another brand that makes them in Turkey to me is a huge deal. Um, and honestly, not that expensive for what you're getting. A little stitching detail on this denim itself is that there is just on the butt pocket, just a line that goes straight across. Nothing crazy here. I don't really like it when it's too busy. Stuff like that, I think is a nice subtle touch. It does feature a YKK zipper on them and on all three pairs, they have a YKK zipper on them. And although I don't know the exact inseam on them and I don't know the exact ankle opening, just know with this pair, it does feature a slightly bigger ankle opening than what you'll find on your represent pairs by like maybe like quarter of an inch to half an inch. So it's a little bit bigger of an ankle opening, but I don't tend to find that I'm caring all that much about it. These are still a very skinny fitting pair of denim and I actually like how they fit way better than pairs I've gotten for minimal. They are a little bit less skinny than the X denim if you've ever worn those. But in my opinion, the quality of this black denim is actually really good. I like these way more than the minimal X denim. The minimal X denim kind of just feels like cardboard. These feel really soft. They feel really like good quality for what you're paying for them. And overall, I really think that this is an excellent pair of black denim that you can pick up. And I think they go for around $87. But with my code that you can use, it'll take them down to $70. And honestly, for like a little bit more than a minimal pair of denim, which costs around like $55-ish, give or take, like for an extra $10, in my opinion, these are so worth it. Now, I really think we're, Lackenzie in general really stands out amongst a bunch of other companies is the fact of their kind of more trendy pieces. So naturally knowing that they're a little bit trendier of a company where they like to do more like the Miri style looks to them, I had to pick up one of the denim that I probably wouldn't normally pick up because it doesn't really fit my style 100%, but I thought it would be good to show off in a video to where people are gonna wanna know about this stuff. This is a like a little bit trendier of a cut. And this is like the checkered, kind of pants with kind of like some distressing on them. These ones, I'll be real, I didn't think I'd like them as much as I did. And once I got them in hand, these have probably been my most worn pair of denim that I've been wearing throughout this quarantine. And comparing them with the black denim, these ones are a little bit of a lighter wash ever so slightly, like a shade a little bit lighter. But overall, still really good in my opinion. They feature the same butt pocket details on both sides. Still that Lackenzie denim. These actually include a lace belt, which I mean, it's a lace belt. It's not really gonna hold your jeans up too much. 
If you still need a belt, I suggest just wearing a belt. But kind of just nice to have. Still features a YKK zipper on them. But really what you're buying these for is kind of like that look of them. And I think that this really nails the sweet spot between a trend and quality. Because you're going to have your brands like H&M, they're going to try to take this look and copy it and make a really poor pair of denim. And you're going to wear them a few times and it's going to fall apart. But these I really feel like hit that sweet spot that I don't think I've even found before then. The stressing on this is perfect for I like. I don't like super duper big, big knee blowouts. I like a good medium sized one. For me, I'm six foot two and these fit perfectly for me. They might fit differently if you're a little bit shorter. But overall, I have no complaints. These are kind of cool to have, honestly, and just kind of switch up your looks a little bit. And that is this pair of denim. This is super trendy. This is, I think, one of their best selling pairs of denim. And I can definitely understand why. It's way better quality than I expected. There's my two black pairs of denim. Yes, I'll know I love my black denim at this point. That's pretty much like what I always wear. And for the last pair of denim I'm gonna show off today, it's more of a cream look to it lighter pair of denim definitely gives off some fear of god vibes to it is this like a lighter pair with a denim belt again like every other pair made in turkey 98 and a half percent cotton one and a half percent elastane and this pair overall is a, is a skinnier fit version of kind of what you'll see from fear of god and for me i like it i don't know if i'd wear the belt all the time like you will see kind of in the photos but i think it's a nice wash to have it's very creamy looking, um, and the only parts that kind of show off the original color is in the crotch, and to be real, probably not that many people are gonna be staring straight at your freaking crotch, and if they are, it's kind of weird. And then the ankle opening on this pair is actually ever so slightly bigger than the other ones, by like an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, if that. So not too much, um, but it can make a difference in depending on how you wear your stuff. Probably not that likely. You won't really need to bring these to a tailor in my opinion. And yeah, overall this pair, in my opinion, if you really wanted that fear of God look with the belt, with everything like that, I think this is a good pair to go after. Um, that's why I got this pair in general was to kind of nail that fear look while having a little bit more of a tapered silhouette to it. And so yeah, it's all three pairs now, kind of like what I think about them is for the price that they're at, I definitely think that they're already pretty worth it. It's not gonna be a John Elliott, you know, but I don't think you should be expecting a John Elliott quality at the price point that they're at. I think where they're at is really good at nailing trends and nailing the kind of price quality to trend ratio. Cause you know, you have a bunch of companies that really wanna get trends out and get it done fast. And I really do feel like with this pair in particular with the three pairs I picked up, all of them are good quality. They're all better than the pairs I've gotten for minimal, which go for around 55 to $60. And that's with a coupon code. So having it like a little bit more than that with any normal promo code you can find for Lackenzie, I would say pick these up instead of your minimal pairs, honestly. And like I said, I'm not being paid anything from them to say this. I just got the pairs of denim in and wasn't told anything to say, so I'm just making a completely honest review. But yeah, if you want to pick up a pair, I'll leave a link down in the description below with my promo code right next to it, which is Matt20. But that has been a review of Lackenzie Denim. Let me know your guys' thoughts of them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And thank you to Lackenzie for sending these three pairs out for a review. I definitely appreciate it, and I really hope it helps out someone with their purchasing decisions and kind of just knowing what this brand's all about and their quality and what have you. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you for stopping by and making it all the way through this very long video. If you haven't done so already, I'd suggest subscribing below. It really helps out a small YouTube channel like myself. And while you're at it, please leave a thumbs up for the like button because it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And like I've been ending every video, just hope you guys are staying safe, stay healthy, stay exercising for that matter. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.